I'm David Macy. I'm a product manager on Adobe Illustrator. And what I want to talk about is um, at a recent conference, a couple of artists approached me and they were really struggling to use Illustrator with their Wacom tablets uh, with the brush tool, um, the paintbrush tool. So that's what I want to talk about a little bit here, some of the struggles that they had and how you can avoid them. So first of all, um, if you double tap on this tool, there is actually a tool brush options panel. If I tap reset, this is um, what the, the default settings are. Uh, we're going to focus on fidelity and smoothness. So fidelity tells Illustrator how far do you need to you move your point of your stylus before it should start adding additional anchor points to the path. Um, so let's take a look at the, how that happens. If I set that fairly high, make the example sort of extreme, and then I do a little bit of a wiggly path here. You notice even though I did a lot of little scribbles, Illustrator smooths out those lines. Basically it's, it's saying because my tip didn't move more than the 12 pixels that I set, it's going to ignore all those small movements and smooth out the line. Now obviously if, if this is the effect that I'm trying to get and I end up with a line that's a lot smoother than I want, that's uh, quite disconcerting. So if I go back in here, double click on that, and set my fidelity all the way down to uh, 0 0.5, so half a pixel is the smallest amount, then if I do these same little squiggles, it sticks with pretty much exactly the line that I drew. The second of these, smoothness, tells Illustrator to actually smooth out the path after it's drawn. So the first one sets how many anchor points it's going to pick up when it's drawing the path, and then smooths it out afterward. So again, if I have this set to a fairly high value, then it's going to create smooth lines for me. And you can notice as I draw and then pick up the um, stylus, as Illustrator does the final rendering, it doesn't really look, it doesn't really follow my original scribbles and um, again, kind of disconcerting. So if you were trying to use Illustrator for drawing with the paintbrush tool, if you really want it to follow your lines as precisely as possible, simply set these two all the way down and then you'll get uh, something where the paths don't move from where you draw them and I think you're going to be much happier than, uh, with that. I'm going to probably do a series of small videos on brushes in Illustrator because there are a lot of things that people really don't know um, about uh, the brush tools, especially some of the newer things that have been introduced in CS4 and CS5, so stay tuned for those.